I bought this 12 volt car and camping electric blanket a few weeks ago from Repco, so I thought I'd create a review for this product. Are 12 volt electric blankets worth it? The price was $33.75 at Repco, and the customer service there was good. You can buy similar blankets from Super Cheap Auto for $69. Dick Smith sells them for a cheap price, but their shipping is very slow since they're based in Australia. Otherwise, you can get them cheaply from Chinese websites like AliExpress. The one I bought from Repco is 145cm long and 100cm wide, so it's a bit wider than a standard single bed, which is 90cm wide. Note that caravan beds are small singles, so my bed is only 75cm wide, which is why the blanket is much wider than my bed. Obviously you'd put it under your duvet, so the duvet keeps the heat in, but I'm just demonstrating the size of it here. It's made out of 100% polyester fleece. So how much power does it use? The label says that it uses 37 watts on low power and 49 watts on high power. I tested this out using my EcoFlow power station and I found on the low setting it actually uses between 47 and 49 watts. On the high setting it uses between 59 and 61 watts, so the blanket actually uses more like 10 watts more than what it says on the label. As it says on the safety label, you should never fold electric blankets when they're switched on and you're not supposed to use electric blankets for longer than one hour at a time. I normally use mine when I'm sitting in front of my computer. I just place it over me and put it on the high setting since that's only 10 watts more than the low setting. Now let's compare it with a 230 volt small blanket from the warehouse. This single small electric blanket is designed to go under your bottom sheet so it ties down under the sheet. Plugging it in the 230 volt AC outlet of my power station shows the low setting uses only 9 watts of power. The high setting uses only 44 watts. So even on the highest setting, it uses less power than the lowest setting of this 12 volt electric blanket, which is interesting. To be fair to the 12 volt electric blanket, it is longer and wider than the small tie down blanket. But if you're looking for gentle warmth while you're camping without using much power, you're actually better off just using that 230 volt blanket plugged into the AC outlet of a power station. Can you wash it? No, you cannot wash this blanket. It says to keep it away from liquids and water. So you're not supposed to keep drinks near it either because you might spill the drink on it, but you should never keep a drink near, near any electric blanket that's turned on. So to clean this blanket, you would have to spot clean it with a damp cloth since you can't wash this one. My cheap 230 volt single electric blanket that I showed before, the tie down one, it actually can be washed because its power cord can be detached and then you just gently wash the blanket in the washing machine. So that's another reason why you might want to buy that small 230 volt electric blanket over the 12 volt blanket, so it might be a better choice for you if you need to wash the blanket potentially. Does it have a timer on it? No, there is no timer on it. For safety reasons, you're supposed to only use electric blankets to warm your bed while you're awake and then you switch it off when you go to sleep. It's too risky leaving electric blankets on while you're sleeping. Many house fires have been caused by electric blankets and I have a smoke alarm in my caravan as well as a fire extinguisher and a fire blanket in case any of my electronic items do catch on fire. So if you're using an electric blanket in your car or in your caravan, you absolutely do want to have things like a smoke alarm and a, a fire extinguisher. Overall, I'm really happy with the product. It's cozy and soft and the price was reasonable. But I'm not convinced it's better than the 230 volt small single that I already own because that one obviously uses less power. If you only have a cigarette lighter in your vehicle then sure the 12 volt is going to be your best option. But if you own a power station like I do and a lot of campers do then you may as well just buy a 230 volt AC electric blanket instead. Happy camping! Bye!